Hi guys, let's read the story, Mouse House Tales. Mouse House, the right house. I want a house, said Mouse. How about a nest or a hole in a tree? A high branch is best. Oh no, not for me, said Mouse. I'll make my house beneath this tree. Here comes help. We'll help, said Mole. I'm ready to dig. How many rooms in small are big? Mouse thought two or three or four. No, said Mole. You need more. How about seven or eight or eleven? Then Beaver said you need walls and a door. That's what all this wood is for. The bark will make a dandy floor. Goat said I brought cheese. Let's eat please. Curtains and things. I'll spin curtains, said Spider, for your windows. I brought twigs, said Wren, and string just right for nests or anything. I brought cheese, said Goat. Can we eat now? Beds and chairs. Duck brought feathers for a bed, my very softest ones. She said, and some of my wool said she for bed covers. I brought an eggshell, said Anne. It's all I have. Fill it with my fur, said Bunny. Look, a mouse chair. I brought cheese. Said goat, let's eat now. I brought cheese. You can have my bell, said calf. Hang it over your door. I brought seeds, said ladybug, for a garden. We brought honey, said the bees. Goat said, I brought cheese. Thank you all," said Mouse, "for my beautiful house. Now, please have a seat. Let's eat. It's about time," said you know who. Mouse mysteries. Who's there? Sighs. Scratch. Scrape. Oh! Late, late at night. Mouse heard a sigh, then a scratch, then a scrape, then an odd little cry. She looked in the closet and behind the door. She looked in the cupboard. She looked in the drawer. She checked very carefully under the chair. It must be a ghost," said Mouse. "Who's there?" Two. A plan. The next day, Mouse told her friends about the sounds in the night. You need a trap," said Wren. "I'll spin a web," said Spider. "With any luck, the ghost will get stuck." Bunny said, "I'll bring peas to spread on the floor. The ghost will trip or maybe slip." Turn out your lights so the ghost cannot see," said Mole helpfully. "It won't work," said Goat. Three, setting the trap. So that night, Mouse hung the web, spread the piece, and turned out the light. And late, late that night, Mouse heard a sigh, scratch, scrape. Then a scratch, then a scrape, then an odd little cry. <laughs> Mouse hopped out of bed, excited to see what she had caught. But 
She slipped on a pea. She fell into the web and got stuck like a fly. This plan does not work," said Mouse with a sigh. Four. A new plan. I told you so," said Goat the next day. "For catching a ghost, that's not the way." Then tell us what is Mouse said to Goat. Please, of course," said Goat. "The best way is cheese by catching the ghost." So that night, Mouse put cheese on the table and behind the door and under the chair on her shiny new floor. Then she hid in the closet, as quiet as a mouse, and perked up her ears to the sounds in her house. And she heard nibble, 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 slurp, slipper, slapper. Lover, ah! caught mouse, switched on the light. There in her house was the skinniest, scraggliest, scruffy young mouse. His coat was all matted. He had a black eye. His whiskers were sticky. Miss Mouse said, "Oh my! Please, Miss," said the mouse. "Don't send me away. I don't have a home. If you let me stay, I'll wash your windows, and scrub your floors, and make your bed, and paint your doors, and calm down," said. Miss Mouse, of course you can stay when you've had a bath. What's your name anyway? Malaki Gimmerack. He said, "Call me Mac." Seven. A happy ending. Such a snug little house for two mice together. In rain and in shine, in all kinds of weather, old friends and new friends come over to play, and this mystery ends with a party! Hooray! Put it on crackers. Put it on bread. Cheese goes best with friends. Goat said, "The." And if you guys like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe this read aloud, and click the bell button.